In the vast expanse of the universe, there exists a paradox that's as perplexing as a black hole, yet it's right here on Earth, in the human mind. This enigma is the Dunning-Kruger effect, a psychological phenomenon that makes the confident clueless and the knowledgeable question their wisdom. Imagine holding a paintbrush for the first time, splattering colors on the canvas with gusto, convinced that you're the next Picasso. But when the paint dries, your masterpiece looks more like a toddler's finger painting. That's the Dunning-Kruger effect in action. This cognitive bias seductively whispers in our ears, telling us that we're better at something than we actually are. It's like a psychological mirage, distorting our perception of our abilities. Consider the classic example of a tone-deaf friend who insists they're the next Adele, blissfully unaware of the cringes they cause at karaoke nights. Or the confident coworker who takes control of a project, only to steer it into an iceberg. They're all under the spell of the Dunning-Kruger effect, overestimating their abilities due to their lack of knowledge in the area. Even more amusing is the armchair pilot, boasting about their potential to fly a plane just because they've watched a bunch of films. They've never been in a cockpit, yet they're convinced they can navigate the skies. It's the Dunning-Kruger effect, once again, creating an illusion of competence. But the beauty of this phenomenon lies in its duality. On one hand, it inflates the ego of the uninformed, but on the other, it humbles those with knowledge. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. It's a paradox that keeps us grounded, reminding us that true wisdom is acknowledging our ignorance and striving to learn more. So, the next time you find yourself swelling with confidence or doubting your abilities, remember the Dunning-Kruger effect. It's a psychological compass, guiding us towards self-awareness and intellectual humility. In the grand scheme of things, isn't it more important to be smart enough to know there's always more to learn, rather than being the smartest in the room? It's a question worth pondering. After all, in the labyrinth of the mind, the only constant is the pursuit of knowledge. And if you've enjoyed this journey into the depths of the human psyche, do consider subscribing. There are many more mysteries of the mind to unravel, and we'd love to have you aboard this fascinating expedition. Until next time, keep learning, keep questioning, and keep exploring the wonders of your mind.